We're mixing disco dancers with dwarves and cyborg apes with ninjas. That's right, it's Smash Up from AEG. This cliche clashing card game pits two to four players against one another in an epic struggle to control bases and score victory points. At the start of the game, each player shuffles together two types of teams from popular fiction and smashes them together into a personal deck of destruction. Setup begins with each player constructing their deck. For your first few games, pick two factions and go for it. Once you have a few matches under your belt, try drafting by placing the limited number of teams on the table and have each player choose one. Then, in reverse order, choose another. Smash them together! <laughs> Next, create the base deck by shuffling the base cards together. Draw one for each player in the game, plus one more. Create a supply of victory point tokens nearby as well. Players shuffle their personal decks together and draw five cards to begin the game. Like many deck-based games, as players draw cards, play, and discard, they will eventually deplete their deck, after which they shuffle their discard pile into a new draw pile. Additionally, depending on the expansions used, add supplemental decks or cards nearby. Smash Up is a growing game, with new teams added to the lineup on a regular basis. It's always changing, people! Gameplay occurs in turns, each divided into five phases. Start turn, play cards, score bases, draw two cards, end turn. During the start turn phase, any existing effects on active cards happen now. Also, if any cards say they expire at the start of your turn, they expire and are discarded before these other cards take effect. Next, the active player can play cards. During this phase, the player may play one minion card, one action card, or one of each. Players may also choose to play no cards on their turn, perhaps if they wish to diversify their options in a future turn. Let's look at the cards real quick. Minion cards have a name, power, and ability. Minion cards are played on a base of the player's choosing, facing toward the player. It's now considered in play. Some minions have talents, which can occur once per turn, per power, at the owner's choosing during the play cards phase. Action cards generally just have an ability, after which they are discarded. Some action cards are non-standard in that they are played on bases or minions and thus stay in play until otherwise instructed. Base cards, which only come from the base deck, are the main point of competition in the game. Base cards have a name, breakpoint, victory point awards, and ability. As players place minions on the bases, they attempt to create a cumulative total of power that will exceed the breakpoint, after which players are awarded victory points depending on their power value. This occurs during the score bases phase. If the total power of all cards on a base equals or exceeds the base's breakpoint, that base is eligible to score. If multiple bases fulfill this requirement, the active player chooses the order in which they resolve. After a base has been chosen to score, players may use abilities that happen before the base scores. Even if these abilities drop the total power on the base below its breakpoint, you still finish scoring that base. The players combine their power values, and the player with the most power is awarded the leftmost victory points. Second place earns the middle value, and third, the right value. If players' power values are tied, they are both awarded the rank's worth of victory points. If players tie for use of the base's ability, they each get to use it, beginning with the active player and proceeding clockwise. After awarding victory points, discard all minions and cards on the bases back to their owner's discard piles and place the base in its own discard. Draw a new base to replace it and the turn continues. Next, in the draw two cards phase, the player, say with me, Draws two cards. Yeah! After drawing, a player may have up to 10 cards in their hand. If they have more than 10, they gotta discard. Finally, in the end turn phase, any card effects that trigger at the end of the turn occur now. If multiple cards take effect, the active player chooses the order in which they resolve. At this point, if any player has more than 15 points, the game ends and the player with the most points is the winner. And that's Smash Up! I'm Becca Scott, and I'm LARPing in Europe next week. I got wings! Don't tell Kate. 
If you want to watch me and my friends play this game and other awesome games, make sure you check out Game the Game right here on Geek and Sundry. We'll see you there.